Hi all folks, this is Max from um, NexusSHacks.com So I've got the review of the uh, Matrix ROM um, As you can see that is the uh, cool boot up Matrix uh, boot animation It's based off uh, Sinogen Mod 7.1 um, This is Android 2.3.5 that allows you to um, go like this with the CM7 lock screen um, some of the cool parts uh, that's been added on from the Cyanogen Mod 7 it has a BLN control um, this is like LED LED uh, notifications um, so if you enable this and if you turn your phone off um, I will actually send myself an email and uh, let me see here Whenever you get notifications, your LEDs will light on. So it's kind of like a, if you need to be silent and stuff, um, you know, this is a great way without having your, you know, sound going off. You can have, uh, you, you'll know that you have email or you missed a call or whatever. So I'll just do a quick, uh, um, just because it's not syncing at right now. So all I'll do is. I'll do a refresh real quick and I'll turn it off and then when you get email you'll see that it turns on see so at night or something when you're watching a movie and you don't have your sound on or something then you'll see these lights on and you'll be like oh I have email or I have a call and you can do that um, let's see this is the next this is a regular Nexus S um, sorry lights you're working now do I have it on whoops BLN control yeah it's on so it should eventually um, turn on. That's another cool feature. Um, I'll just show you with uh, the Nexus S4G. It's just the same ROM. There's also um, cool stuff like Voodoo Control. Um, on top of the DSP Manager, uh, Voodoo Control is great for headphones, um, earbuds. It allows you to do um, a lot more stuff. Headphone amplifier, volume limit. Um, bass boost, I use this all the time, I have it on full blast and you can get it to where you know it's louder than stock um, uh, stock ROM, it's gonna be a whole bunch of louder I always complain that sometimes it's not loud enough but this will make it um, much much louder when you use a earphone or head headphones through the jack um, other than that, let me see what else is it? What else is that cool about it? Um, you can overclock it to. Um, it's using the uh, Matrix kernel also, uh, 1.46. I recommend you run it at 1.46 on demand, not on performance. You're gonna lose. You're gonna lose a lot of performance. And I think 1.46 is actually pretty good. I might even tone it down to 1.3. Um, there's no reason to really overclock even more unless you're gonna play like 3D games all day long But I think 1.46 you're still gonna get pretty fast speeds um, I'll run some quadrant speed tests for you real quick here quadrant and Run benchmark and you get decent speeds what you would expect and quadrant speeds aren't everything um, but the creator of this ROM is really worked on this and uh, I know this guy personally and it's a really great ROM. I highly recommend it. Um, it has very good battery life. Um, I know there's a lot of ICS right now but those are still kind of not, still a little bit laggy I think in my opinion. Um, so this is the Matrix ROM with the Matrix kernel. Uh, BLN it gives you LED notifications and we can be very useful if you work at an office and um, you know maybe you take those calls so I, I was getting like near 4,000 but I'm sy still syncing my Gmail here and there so I've got 3300 there and 2600 there but that's not such a big deal you can get near 4,000 um, and I also have it on demand instead of performance so you should you know around 4,000 uh, the important things you get very good battery life. It's um, it's kind of like CM seven point one plus BLN and the uh, Voodoo control, and also there's Spark uh, mod manager. Um, there's a touch awake and touch backlight dimmer. Um, I forgot what this is. 
I, I don't know how to use the touch backlight dimmer, but um, I know how to use the uh, touch awake. It's pretty cool actually. You know when you leave your phone on and then it's kind of like the screen comes off and you have to hit the power button again. But if you didn't hit the power button, this allows you to um, hit your screen to wait, make it awake. That way, you know, if you have it like sitting on the desk or something and you just want to see what's up, you don't want to be like all, you have to, you know, hold the phone, hit the power key and whatnot. But we'll see uh, when this screen comes off, we should be able to uh, wake it with just a touch. Okay, that one's not going off. But I can show you with this one, and you can see that the LEDs are on here. You can barely tell, um, but you can see. Uh oh, is that working? Okay, maybe I didn't turn it on. Okay, let me go double check it. Um, where is it? Spark mod. Oh, maybe I gotta hit apply. We'll try that again. And oh, there we go. So this one turned off by itself. And we should be able to touch awake it. <laughs> I don't know what happened there. We'll try again. I think I didn't hit apply there. Whoa, 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 whoa. And I think I gotta set. Let me set my display so I don't have to wait so long. Whoops. Whoops. All right. So 15 seconds, there you go, touch away works. I, I forgot to hit apply. Um, and on this one too, uh, five more seconds. It should be able to do it right there. There you go. So those are the like the extra cool features about it, but I highly recommend this ROM. It has very good battery life. Um, check it out and uh, you know, um, it's a good ROM, check it out. The ROM of the week, Matrix ROM. Uh, by Math Kit from ACS. Alright, see y'all later. Gotta go.